Hello to all of my Pisces and happy 8-8 to all of my Pisces. The Lion's Den portal is wide open. It's been opening up since the 28th of July and it's fully open right now. So let's see what your cards have to say so you can see what you can say now that I've done X, Y, and Z. You know, um, now that you're on the other side of something, how do you feel? Let's see what your cards have to say. We currently have four planets that are open. I'm sorry, that's retrograde. Excuse me, four planets that are retrograde. The portal is open, but four planets are retrograde. And Mercury is um, Mercury is not one of them. Mercury is pre-shadow retrograde. So it's like pre-test, like pre-test. Mercury is the messenger planet. Let's see what messages are coming out. Here we have the Knight of Pentacles, Four of Swords, Six of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles. We have the Ten of Cups and also the Ten, the Seven of Wands. All right, Pisces. All right, Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. First and foremost, we have two full moons in August, right? That last full moon, I, I believe, is going to be in Pisces, but that first full moon was in Aquarius, right? And it's a Sturgeon moon, right? We talked about that before. So let's see what your cards have to say. Knight of Pentacles. I'm talking to you if you have Pisces anywhere in your birth chart, not just your sun, moon, rising, or Venus, but anywhere in your birth chart. We have the Four of Swords. We also have the Six of Pentacles. We also have the Ten of Pentacles. We also have the Ten of Cups. Lots of tens, right? Ten. Ten is the number of instant manifestation. So, and then we also have the Seven of Wands. All right, let's do it. Let's see what your cards have to say. Let's see what your cards have to say. Let's see what your cards have to say. The majority of cards that I'm seeing right here for you all, Pisces, is money cards, pentacles, right? So Source is saying, continue working hard, like continue investing in yourselves, Pisces, because you will say, you can say it today, 8-8, eight, eight, if you're watching the video on 8-8, eight, eight, now that I have really focused on investing in myself and focusing on my legacy wealth, because I now know what my purpose is, I feel X, Y, and Z, right? Now that I've been working on myself, I'm not looking for people's acceptance. I already have the acceptance of source and I'm focusing on my legacy wealth and I've been getting my rest and I've been focusing on making sure my inner child is, my inner child is nurtured, right? I was also able to um, envision this life for myself. This is a seven of wands. Seven of wands is about you know, sitting down and meditating through visualization, looking and seeing how do you see your life moving forward, right? Now that you're not looking for people's approval and acceptance to tell you how smart you are, how bright you are, how, you know, comparing you with other people, Pisces. Now, you know, how does that feel that you're no longer looking for people's acceptance as far as your legacy is concerned, as far as you, when you get your rest, if you feel tired, I'm going to get my rest. Right here we have the Seven of Cups, we have the Knight of Cups, we have the Queen of Cups, the Three of Wands, the Two of Swords, and also the Dame of Swords. It looks like somebody could have either, um, you know, in the past had some kind of, a, um, you know, outgrown some kind of a, a temptation you may have had. You know, temptation of maybe some kind of an addiction or something. Maybe you were attracted to certain types of people or whatever. But I think in your, in your, so you, you've outgrown a lot of things. So there's temptation to kind of sort of go back and try to save other people who may be stuck in the same, um, battling the same demons possibly that you may have battled in the past. But source is saying to you again, that's going to be your statement for eight, eight. Now that I no longer have those temptations, now that I'm not looking for people's approval, now that I know what my purpose is, now that I'm focusing on my legacy wealth, and now that I've been putting in that energy work, I did hard work, and I was able to visualize, I can have compassion. Here we have the Queen of Cups. I can have compassion for people who love ones who are going through some of the same things that I've come out of, the same battles and, and things that I've come out of, right? We also have the Knight of Cups. So you're teaching them essentially on the other side how to save themselves because you now know how how beautiful life is on the other side of um, first identifying your demons. People have to admit that they have demons first, right? Everybody has demons. Admitting it, you know, accepting that you have demons. Now, now I need to work towards putting those under submission, right? And so this is how somebody's feeling. Somebody's feeling expansion all around them. So somebody may be going on a trip, going somewhere, because that's what you visualize. You're like, you know, it's time for me to go on a trip. It's time for me to do something for self, right? Here we have the two of swords. So I do see somebody taking the blindfolds off and saying, hey, I've gotten my rest. I see what I needed to see. You know, when it comes to energies who are battling their own demons. But again, this is you right here, Pisces. 
So you're on the other side of something. Somebody's on the, on the other side of some things that may have been challenging for you in the past, Pisces, but it's no longer challenging for you. So you're starting to see that it's better served when you're operating in your life purpose. Whatever that life purpose is, um, to help to, to better mankind, right? So what I'm saying here, Pisces, is that there could be loved ones, because I'm seeing this two of swords here. Could it be loved ones that are battling temptations as you may have battled temptations? So your temptations could have been different from theirs. Let's say, for instance, your demons was chocolate cake. You're like, oh, my God. Every time I walk in a store, if all I have to do is just, like, get a whiff of that chocolate smell, and whew, I'm running straight back to the bakery, right? Their demons may be something different. It could be an incubus or succubus relationship that they're in. It could be substance abuse, something, but any kind of food, any kind of addiction that a person has, it doesn't make them worse or better than you are because everybody has demons, right? It makes you more, should make you more compassionate towards people like, you know what, it, it wasn't easy when I was trying to stop eating chocolate cake and we're, we're talking about chocolate cake just as a, you know, as a lighthearted part of it. It wasn't that easy. So their, their, their demons may be different than mine, but I'm showing compassion for it. So I trust source on the other side of this. Now that I'm seeing things on the other side of it, that I won't be so hard or harsh on people when they're struggling and going through things. It is more or less like and, and judgy, you know, if anything, if they want access to my universe, in your universe, you're the king of your, somebody's getting back to the king of their finances, right? This is a, the night the night energy, right? So here we have the justice card. I'm going to get back to my thought in a second. The justice card, the um, six of wands, the judgment card, the world card, the four of cups, and then also the queen of cups. So here we have the justice card. I'm seeing you saying, you, uh, and the, and the, ju the judgment card, Judgment card is attached to Pluto, which lets me know that somebody is focusing on breaking generational cycles, chains, and curses. That's why you're able to just go ahead and part ways with holding other people's emotional baggage, whatever their demons are, and trying to save people. I'm so compassionate. I'm over-nurturing a situation, and it's weighing me down. That's what this justice card is. If anything, I need to break from that and vibrate higher because it was weighing me down. So I need to break for somebody else's holding, somebody else's baggage holding me down, right? I need to go ahead and close out that cycle in a very mature way. This world card is attached to Saturn. Saturn is currently retrograde. Saturn is the planet of authority and maturity. But when you think about Saturn, I want you to also think about patience, structure and order, concentration, limits, being serious, being formal, uh, putting in that hard work, a mature, a mature responsibility, someone who has dignity, right? So you're not trying to embarrass and humiliate people who are going through um, first accepting that they have demons or identifying their demons and then learning how to put those demons under submission because you too have gone through the same thing. Maybe different demons, but the same process, right? Sometimes it takes people a real long time to admit, hey, maybe I, maybe I am addicted to this person in a relationship. Maybe this is an unhealthy, codependent relationship. Maybe I am addicted to fear. You know, that's why I can't leave this job. You know, a lot of times when people are focusing on other people outside of themselves, Pisces, they'll say, oh my God, I mean, I know I've had my issues, but my issues is nothing compared to theirs. Wrong, big X over that, right? Wrong, wrong, wrong. It's about compassion. So source is saying, have compassion, you know, surrender to source and focus on your, your um, you know, focus on your, um, your your uh your purpose your life purpose making sure your number eight is aligned we're talking about eight eight right we're in the eighth month make sure your number eight is aligned where you have a clear vision for how you see your lives pisces and then using your good product and service along with your life experiences to better mankind so if you're just looking at i have a good product and service and you're not adding your life experiences in that you know how are you helping mankind if you are looking at a person in, in, in a hurtful way and in, in, in harshly judging somebody who is, gone, who is learning what their demons are and they're trying to overcome those things. So that's what Source is saying to you is that you're teaching people by detaching from their baggage, whether it's ex-love interest trying to come back, 
whether it's family members that's going through things, whether it's people at your job. You know how, you know, sometimes people at work, they want to keep dumping things into your lap after you've awakened and you set your intention, after you've done the mirror work every single day, you look in that mirror and you say something kind and nice about yourself, you know, something loving to yourselves before you step out that door. You, you say some, some people sage themselves. Some people say prayers to put on a full armor of source, you know, all of that you've done. And then you go into work and somebody's dumping all their issues and problems on you. At some point, instead of you harshly judging them, you're just going to say, I'm sorry you're going through all of that, but I, I, I'm not, I don't feel like I'm the best person to share that with. I think you should probably talk to a therapist about that, right? So I see somebody no longer sitting around like this. So again, for 8-8, eight, eight, that can be what you're saying to yourself. Now that, you know, now that I am on the other side, inside of my vault, this is what it looks like. I've, I've you know, unzipping that old skin I've, I've burned that old person, that old way of believing, thinking that I, you know, oh, my God, these people, they're, they're going through, they're, they're battling their demons, and all they have to do is this, 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 that, and the other, and, and, and that should fix it. That's not how it, it sounds easy, right? So I see you victoriously saying, I need to go ahead and just release other people's baggage and let people go ahead and and handle you know, just through your actions, you're showing people that they can save themselves from their demons. So congratulations to you all for, you know, just being, like I said, continuing to be that lighthouse to people who really need help and in, in a, in a, not in a harsh judgment way, unless they're asking for, you know, money or your ideas or your thoughts about something or your emotions attached to it. Like I said before, you're being very, very conservative with, you know, your response to things from now on because you're start somebody's in a in a space of humility. Really in a space of humility. Imagine if everybody showed that humility with things that they've gone through and create such a firm boundary that people know I'm not judging you harshly. I'm not saying that I'm perfect. But I've been there, different type of demons. I've been there too, um, and and I can tell you that it does get better on the it's better on the other side of all of that. So that's what I see. Somebody's using all their creativity to no longer pour out all this extra water to energies, making yourself open to be vulnerable and manipulated. But instead, what I see you doing is replenishing your water through juice fast, drinking more water, taking your spiritual showers and your spiritual baths, all of those things, right? That's what I'm seeing for you all. And see this rabbit right here? Source is saying every room you step into, every time you connect with people when it comes to you entering into their aura or their universe, you add to their lives. You don't take away. So you are highly respected, highly regarded and highly respected and there will be people who, when you close out that cycle, they'll feel like you're harshly judging them. But again, if you can just keep in your mind, Pisces, that unless they want access, the same level of access you may have given to them before, you know, you've given them access immediately, open up your pocketbook if they needed some money or your time. That's like, again, time is money. You're immediately opening up to just give them as much time. Which, of course, as an emotional sign, could have been overwhelming for you. You immediately gave them all these ideas of what they could do. So you gave them your fire, right? So you gave them your money, your pentacles, and your fire. Or you gave them thoughts about certain things. Sometimes they push those thoughts right back and resented those thoughts. But they asked for them, right? So you gave them access to your air. And you also gave them access to your water, your emotions. Sometimes it looks like crying over a situation when you could have easily asked yourself, why am I crying over this situation? That's their demons. I've already given them time, gave them my opinion, gave them some ideas how they can get out of this. And in some cases, giving them money. Why am I crying about this again? So I do see source saying to you again about whatever two situations it was, I do see you getting your rest. Mummy like sleep, getting your rest. And these two energies were definitely appealing to somebody's um, definitely appealing to somebody's wealth, right? They knew you were, that's what I'm saying. Now that you're inside your vault, what did you have to do to get to your vault? Because that's what you're going to be helping people. That's, that's going to be, you know, when they come back and just say, we really, really need, you know, some advice and some help and some so-and-so that's when you can, again, 
Because that's what I'm seeing for you all, going from, from five of pentacles to ten of pentacles. You're not looking for their approval anymore. You're telling people, hey, it, this takes hard work. To get inside that vault door, it takes a lot of hard work. And source is saying to you, the nightmare is over whenever you want it to be over. Nightmare is over whenever you want it to be over. Matter of fact, everything is fine. That's why you see the everything is fine card right here. Source is saying to you, everything is fine. Nightmare is over whenever you want it to be over. You don't have to keep over giving your time, your money, or time slash money, your emotions, your ideas, and your... your um your thoughts to things, especially when people are showing you that they don't appreciate them. They're just, um, they're just with you. They are trying to get to you for what they can get from you. Pisces after, after a while, somebody's going to have to realize that, Hey, hold on now. Okay. I, I'm not, I, I'm compassionate, but people are starting to take my kindness for weakness. Remember you all are the, I believe sign. So if you start believing that people are taking your kindness for weakness and you know that you're better served and just, um, teaching them how to fish instead of just continuing to give them fish pisces speaking of your symbol and again i'm talking to you if you have pisces anywhere in your chart not just your sun moon rising or venus but even if pisces is your mc or ic that's when you're going to start seeing some real change because you're teaching people hey i'm not even though your symbol are the two fish tied together and swimming in opposite directions you're focusing on not going into a, a place of escapism when it comes to two energies at all. You're not escaping reality. This is the reality. So that's why that's what's opening up somebody's vault door. Here we have the three of wands, the page of swords, the magician card, five of cups, the moon card, and also the six of cups. So yeah, something from your past could be rearing its ugly head. That's why I said to you the compassion about it because... Something from your past could have been overwhelming for you. That's why you're not harshly judging people. You're just saying, if I've given you 100, you know, like full level of access to my elements, air, fire, water, and earth, and you didn't appreciate it, now I need to, now I need to give you apps like less access to that, right? And just operate in faith. I don't need to sit around and ruminate over it. I got clear messages that's coming through from source. So I already know what's going on. I know what people, I know what battling your demons looks like, right? And source is sending the information to you, but also sending tests to you to see if you are going to go back to opening up your wallet again, sitting on the phone forever, talking about the same thing that you've been talking about a gazillion times. If you are going to get fired up and burned out mad to the point of exhaustion, and now you're messing up your money, you know, or... Are you going to be crying over it again or, you know, talking about how you were manipulated? So sources saying three of wands, three of wands. Like I said before, I do see somebody taking a trip and seeing expansion all around you. Here's the page of swords. I do see some, the anxiety of the whole situation going away very soon for somebody. And then we have the five of cups where, like I said before, whereas you used to sit around and lament over this Pisces, I don't see you doing that anymore at all. I don't. I just see you saying, hey, people are going through their normal life things. I'm here as a safe space and a soft landing, but I'm not going to be abused again, emotionally abused again, because that's what it was. It was emotional abuse. So some people were definitely staying connected to you for what they could get from you, point blank, period, right? Because they didn't see using their own creativity as a way to get it. They would rather just suck your water dry and leave you with nothing except dust and dirt and sarcasm and hurt and flame torching you and cutting you deep with their words and all sorts of stuff. So source is saying, just be still, just be still. And like I said, start planning that trip. <laughs> be still, start planning that trip, Pisces, because somebody is definitely going on a trip. Somebody is going on a trip and uh, maybe two trips actually going on a trip. So vision number 43 to find enlightenment, Pisces, seek nowhere, for it lives within you. There we go. That's how you visualize your life. You sit down and say, just like that seven of, where's the seven of wands here? You sit down and you visualize the life that you know that you want. It's already, you're already in the vault door. Your reputation is intact. You're already thinking about legacy, you know? And so you could already been working on your legacy. But every time, every time for certain energies, the test was, you know, as soon as they want something, do you give full level of access to something or do you say, no, that it's not meant for them to go in my vault door with me. I'm the one that goes into my vault door by myself. They have their own vault door to go into. The only people in your vault door are people who are on your frequency. Those are the energies that's on your frequency. People who, you know, the energy is recipro 
reciprocal, right? That energy is reciprocal. So, yep, that energy is reciprocal. So, help me know that all my deepest needs will be met. Let me trust that you, source, have a plan and the right actions will come. You are my source for all, divine source. Mm hmm. Yeah, so. Unfortunately, like I said before, people have to sometimes have to learn the hard way that you are not funding people's, you know, addictions or their demons. Let me just say that you're not funding their fear, doubt, uncertainty, addictions, codependent relationships. Like you are not the bank. You are not their vault, right? When they, once they realize that you are not their vault, then that's when it's going to click for somebody. So have faith in your dreams. Have faith in your dreams. Have faith in your dreams. So this is awesome, Pisces, because when I look at your cards here, when I look at just like looking at parallel universes is that you may have been in situations in the past where, like I said before, as far as addictions were concerned, addicted to whatever, addicted to fear. When you're addicted to fear, you're, you're, it's like a person who's just walking around paranoid at everything. I don't know if this is the right job. Should I leave this job? You do all kinds of things that you look back on later on and regret. Like, why was I so afraid? But you also take it back to your childhood, your ancestral and family traumas as well. And to say, okay, that's where the fear, that is where the fear started, right? You notice like when um, you go back to family um, functions and family gatherings and stuff like that. If you feel this overwhelming anxiety, even stepping into the spaces, a fight may break out or you know, people are still angry with each other or gossiping and that kind of stuff. That may be something for somebody to look at and go, hmm, you know, maybe I either need to go to a therapist to help me with my anxiety when it comes to my own family so that I'm not operating in fear in every other area of my life. Or maybe I just need to curse certain family members off because you've outgrown certain things, right? Some people are not settled. If they grew, if they grew up in a, it, it, where it was like high um, high, um, violence or anxiety, you know, high hostility in the family, people always drinking and fighting and, you know, cussing each other out and a lot of betrayal and stuff in the family. Some people can't, it, it's hard for people, some people to, to break away from that type of behavior. So they're always on go. They are looking for something to happen so they could just cuss somebody out or go off or be in some kind of something they even you it, this it's the the television shows they watch it's the it's everything about their energy they're always on a thousand and so until you realize that's unhealthy and and that puts you in that 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 living on the edge kind of space in an unhealthy way source is saying no that's not the that's you're teaching people that everything that they need is inside of them so here we have the number 24 i am generous you have heard you have a heart of gold and you're skilled at maintaining balanced, stable relationships, Pisces. And this is the key right here. Skilled at maintaining balanced, stable relationships, right? That goes back to what I was saying before with this this justice card right here. This is balance where you're not allowing other people to pour, you know, dump their dim, their demons into your universe, thus causing you to lose sleep keep walking past your own vault. You're not living your best life. It is so source is saying you are loyal to your loved ones and you're able to be the nurturer, protector, and provider all at once, but not overdoing it. Right? So that's what I'm saying. Somebody's in a very compassionate space where you are not harshly judging people, but you're also saying, I have very firm boundaries. I understand, understand, and overstand what people could be going through because you too had demons that you had to you know, realize, and then, but, I, but I'm also offering you hope, you know, offering you hope, um, that you too, like you Pisces were able to overcome that and step into your own vault door and live your absolute best life. So that's what I have for you. That's what I have for you, Pisces. Like I said, there's some people from the past that could, um, their energy. See how this person has their finger over their, their mouth. There's some people from your past that can feel like they have some secrets. They know some things that you don't know, or they got some things on you or some secrets about you that nobody else knows except them. But source is saying to you, 
Cut that past off. No more living in fear, doubt, uncertainty. If somehow it ties to what you're going through right now, sources say, you know, open up that vault door, you know, like pop the lid off of that and just, you know, or if somebody brings some information about to you about some stuff that happened in the past that maybe they were afraid of and, and they weren't aware of those things, then deal with it. You know, no longer living in fear, you know, of anything. But anyway, that is what I have for you, Pisces. I will see you all on. I will see you all on um, on Friday. But happy eight eight, happy eight eight, teaching every one of you all. Bye.